You are not fooling anybody when you say that what happened was a natural disaster. When they start seeing the trailers come out and they start seeing this is a serious take on, on this idea and it's like, forget the other movies. We're going for it. This is going to be the ultimate Godzilla movie. Then I, I think, you know, I'm hoping that it'll attract people who have never seen a Godzilla film or know very little about him other than he's a giant, massive monster. As amazing as it is to see these, this, this spectacle and all the epic imagery that comes with a film like this, it kind of means nothing if you don't care about the characters that it's affecting. And, and so it's really important to us that there's, as well as like being afraid and the suspense in the movie, like emotion, I wanted you to actually feel something. And thankfully, like everybody, all my favorite people I've ever wanted to work with, managed to get them. They're all secret Godzilla fans, I found out. We're heading back to the containment chill. Sandra, listen to me. You need to get out of there. I grew up loving Godzilla. That's partly why I'm doing this movie, is because I was so enamored with Godzilla. Um, more so than King Kong. I was more of a Godzilla man than King Kong. And I think why, <laughs> logic of a boy, is that Godzilla didn't apologize for anything. <laughs> he just <laughs> destroyed everything in his wake. And that was, that was so boy, you know, crush everything. When I first met Gareth to discuss this project, and I was so impressed that he knew so much about the history of the Japan's relationship with nuclear power. Are we at full function? Yes, we are. But perhaps we should be drawing down to be safe. And uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bomb, blah, 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 blah. And uh, he totally understood the theme of the original film. And I responded to his courage in reviving those ideas again. The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control. From the get-go, he was he was quite certain and 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 at the same time which is a great quality to, to find when you come into a, a a relatively monstrous situation willing to play and discover and tweak and see what's really what's really happening in this scene i i love working with him i think he's fantastic uh, i think he's Super talented, smart. I think he's got a fantastic vision. I think he's someone who can really communicate and direct and, and, and give choices and really work as a team. The thing about Gareth, which is kind of phenomenal, is that, you know, he just done this one other film with such a, a small crew, small budget, and now he's here. And you'd imagine that would be overwhelming, but he's still just as funny as probably like rehearsals when he might have been like freaking out but he still has a sense of humor he doesn't lose his cool he knows what he wants he's able to talk to the actors about story and then because of his background he's able to talk about the technical things and have in his mind how everything's going to work in special effects i don't like putting a camera anywhere a camera can't go so i don't like i don't like getting footage of the creatures in a way that would be impossible so it either has to be a helicopter, and how someone on the ground, or, or we've set up a, co a camera move, knowing this event was going to happen, but we're not, we're not sidekick, so it shouldn't be like perfect. You go on the journey with it, you know, everything's kind of shot from POVs, it's shot from people's perspectives, and of like the, the monsters fighting or whatever. They're aiming to shoot it beautifully and artistically. What makes Godzilla 2014 different? from the others is that it's matured. The whole sensibility of how to make a movie like this has matured because it's not just about this beast and how are we going to control it, kill it, capture it, how, how, how is that even possible?